Hi, today I want to show you how to run one 2.2 first last frame to video on my RTX 4070 with 8 gig of VRAM. First of all, we need two images. I have created the images with flux context. I use one of my childhood photos and let it colorize and replace the background. So you can see it's uh, like I'm in a boxing ring. And this is the, supposed to be the first image. And the last image, I add a tiger here. As you have seen from the intro, so I put a tiger and he's happy, he's uh, showing off as a winner. And I've got another version as well. This one, the tiger is at the back, is a little bit larger. For our testing, I'm going to use the second version. So the next thing is you need to go to the one 2.2 website. I will link this in the description. As you can see from here, it's a so-called FLF2V, uh, first last frame to video. And you can find the workflow here. Just download this. I've done that already. So, and go to Comfy UI. As always, you need to get the latest, just update it. Now I just drag and drop my workflow here. Uh, don't worry about these models. Uh, I'm going to use the same models as my last video. So uh, I'm not going to the details again. I will put the model details in the description if you don't know how to download it and you can check out my previous video. I just do this quickly here. Uh, what I need is, uh, as last time I need a GGUF loader. I select the low noise here. I'm using the Q6 underscore KGGUF. It's working for my 8 gig memory. That's not bad. So just duplicate it. And this one is the high noise here. And now I need to make a little space for my LoRa. Move this here. And connect this here. Now I need to add a LoRa loader. This is a LoRa loader model only. And I will put the link uh, where to download the LoRa. I'm using the self-forcing LoRa. And make sure you are selecting the uh, image to video LoRa. So I've got that already selected and duplicate this one. Now I need to make sure the high noise is connecting to the top one. Low noise is connecting to the lower one. And here is the high noise here. And the low noise is connecting to the bottom one. So let me go to this here. As usual, I like to put the output to the WebM format because it will save my workflow. So let me delete all this here and create my WebM output node. And I use my preference AV1, 16 frames per second. And the CRF is 18. That's what I am using all the time. And as last time, we need to make it to four steps here because we are using LoRa. So to make it faster, just four steps. And CFG, uh, for the high noise one, uh, last time I used one, and I think 1.5 is better to get it following the prompt. But you can experiment that. So that's what I am using. And the uh, LCM sampler. Start step is zero and end step is two. Just run half of it. And the next sampler here is four step as well. 
And this one I leave it at CFG1 and LCM assembler. And the start step is 2. So, and the next thing is I need to get my images. This is my first image and my last image with the tiger behind the boy. And the size I am using 640 and 480. Usually try to do it as small as possible, but because my subject is uh, not very large in the frame, so it's better to make it higher resolution. Otherwise there will be a lot of noise. The next thing is I keep on forgetting is to get my prompt. Okay, this is my prompt. Uh, there will be a tiger jumping in and the boy will knock it out. I let the co-pilot refine a little bit, so I hope it's good. The clip here, I've used it in my previous video, all already ready to go. So let's run it and see how it goes. Okay, it's done. Okay, let me check how long did it take. 348 seconds, that's a little bit more than 5 minutes. Uh, I just realized that I haven't changed the length. So usually I only do it for 4 seconds and this is uh, about 5 seconds. And let's check the video. Okay, <laughs> it's not too bad. It, it doesn't knock the tiger but uh, it is still interesting, the action. Yeah, I really love this. This video doesn't seem to show the boy knocking out the tiger. It's more get attacked by the tiger. But the good thing is uh, we are running this locally. We can run as many times as we want. And it takes five minutes. Five minutes, that's really fast for my low VRAM machine. Okay. I think that's all about the first and last frame to video with one 2.2. If you have any questions, just post in the comments. If you are not very clear with downloading the models, you can check out my last video. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you like it, please give me a thumb up. Thank you for watching. Bye. There, there are more videos to watch. Or you can subscribe and we'll never miss a future video.